Lives are changed at the Tavistock Centre, and what happens here has long drawn attention. Questions about how and whether children should be able to reassign their gender. Children like Kira Bell, who never imagined her story, would lead her here. I'm delighted at the judgment of the court today. It was a judgment that will protect vulnerable people. I wish it had been made for me before I embarked on the devastating experiment of puberty blockers. My life would be very different today. Kira was 16 when she went to the Tavistock Centre. She started receiving hormone blockers and later surgery to become Quincy. She regretted the decision and today, in a landmark ruling, a judge said her case had shown it's doubtful 14 and 15-year-olds could understand long-term risks of treatment and highly unlikely children under 13 can give competent consent. I was extremely upset and, um, you know, just realising how traumatic the experience was and um, how deceitful I feel that the clinicians were during my care. Um, so, yeah, it, it, was, it was heartbreaking. Medical transition doesn't have to um, be, be the way for you. You know, you can come out of this the other end. The less public face of this was known in court as Woman A. She's always gravitated towards male friends. They just seem to accept her far more than the girls. A woman whose daughter is on the waiting list for treatment. When it comes to this, any parent whose child presents like this and has any concern and reservations, we're told to dismiss those concerns and reservations and just go with it and ignore the doubts that we've got and the feeling that it doesn't sit right. We're told to sideline that and just go with it, and that's very difficult as a parent. Which one's your favourite out of all of those? But many have a very different story. <laughs> Alex was 30 when he went to the Tavistock with his mother's support. It took me 18 months to get onto blockers, and then it would normally take people two years just to get seen. So you can imagine it takes a long time, and that's a significant amount of puberty that's happening, with it, bringing with it a significant amount of dysphoria and therefore distress. I'm up to the point now where I can live my life as a normal person, and like being trans doesn't even factor into my life. Well, it does a little bit, but like the idea that I can live a normal life regardless of that is absolutely amazing. For me, you know, I just listened to Alex and followed through with kind of what what was right for him, and you know, here we are today. And that's the, you know that's the amazing thing is yeah. that you've been able to um, sort of deal with these issues and put it behind me and put it behind us and now you know you just you are amazing you know he is an outstanding young person this family isn't alone stonewall found that in 2016 17 less than one percent of those who went to the tavistock experienced regret after transitioning they say they provide a thoughtful and measured service the tavistock knows clinics around the world will be watching a landmark case that's likely to be a moment of change in transgender treatment. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.